Hi, John Schneider here with the Living in Midwest Life real estate team. We are here at a new and exciting property that we've just taken on. It's on East Main Street, downtown Mass Madison, right between Willie Street and East Wash. So it's a fabulous property, as you can see. Needs a little bit of work. We're gonna go inside and take a look. All right, we're just getting inside the house here. We've got a great screen porch here. Looks like it needs a little bit of work, but once we get it done, it's really gonna be beautiful. We've got some new windows. We're gonna go inside and see the rest of the house. As you look here through the main living space, you've got some cool original doors that we're gonna try to keep. They did replace some windows here and started to, but haven't gotten that completed, so we'll go ahead and finish those things. Um, we've got some openings that have just kind of been left um, that we're gonna have to clean up and fix. We've got original maple floors here that we're gonna see if we can save. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. Depends on how things come together. Um, it looks like at one point they added a bathroom on this main level. I'm sure that this was not original. Um, there's a kitchen on the other side and we're talking about potentially opening this space up a little bit. Uh, but this is a third bedroom with its own bath. So depends on how we decide to frame this property is, and how we resell it. But there is, we do have investors now that are actually looking at it and hoping um, to maybe potentially buy it from us before we ever do our remodel. And as we've been buying a lot more property, sometimes it's hard for us to get to everything. So that's another avenue that we've been looking at it, potentially selling real estate. Um, you come in through the kitchen here. It's kind of an interesting little concept. All old school hardwood countertops. Um, you can tell this was all kind of custom built in place. Um, and and we'll, this will all come out. Um, there is the option of potentially pushing this wall out to go into the family and living room so that we could combine that space. I'm not 100% sure if that's a, the right you know, next step, but we'll take a look at it. All these floors, obviously, they're gonna have to stay. This is so nice. No, <laughs> kidding, we won't. We'll, we'll be replacing all that. Um, a nice laundry room off back, which is incredible for this age of a home. They, great little addition they did here, but a nice little laundry room off the back. And if you wanna look out the window here real quick, we can actually see that you got a really nice size two and a half car garage. Obviously, we've got a tight backyard, but that's the way that these um, houses are and, and the neighborhoods like that. So. Um, but for having a nice two and a half car garage, that's pretty great. We're gonna get ready to go upstairs, but before we do, I wanna just point out a couple features in the foyer here. Um, the original door to this house is still here, and we're gonna do everything we can to save all the hardware, all the door, um, and give it a, a fresh look. Same with the staircase, um, all original, um, just beautiful. We love seeing these in the old houses. The same with the trim on the side of the, the stairs. So uh, we'll, do the, we'll also try to change the handrails to match to get them back to original because these obviously have been replaced. Here we are upstairs in the front bedroom of the home. And once again, you can see the old craftsmanship at work. You've got like 12 inch baseboards, all custom, very nice. That we're gonna try everything we can to save all of that. You've got the same look here that transfers to the doors, the entry door, the closet door. All of this is original. All of the hardwood is still there, a uh, hardware, excuse me. Um, so you're really gonna get just a great feel for this house as it transitions. Now, this house has central air in it, um, yet there's some space, you know, window heaters that, or uh, air conditioners that they put in. So that's interesting, we'll probably be removing that. I have a feeling that was added well before they put in the central air. So we'll see what we can do about making sure that we get rid of those anomalies. Um, we do have a full second bathroom up here, which is great. Some of these older houses just don't have it. And we have technically, three bedrooms up here. So that bedroom downstairs could be considered a fourth and maybe the reason why we decide to um, convert it back to living space because a fourth bedroom in an area like this in a home like this isn't necessarily that much value. Um, over top of that laundry room, we have a fantastic space, you know, all new windows. It's probably the, one of the nicer finished rooms in the house still. There are certainly some um, issues on the sidewall there that need to be figured out, but this has all new uh, windows in it. It's well insulated, um, and it could be just a great little, you know, very open lit uh, area for your study or something for the master uh, bedroom. All right, we're getting ready to head down to the basement and we'll go down here. These basements, especially when these older houses have been left vacant for a while, they can get a little creepy, so let's watch out. 
All right, so we're down here in the basement. As you can see, ceilings are fairly low. The foundation looks like it, it's kind of in rough shape. We actually already had a foundation specialist come in here and there is no bowing in the wall. Um, they're gonna actually do some cleanup of this entire foundation, but it isn't gonna be the massive expense that we anticipated that it could have been, which was quite a relief. And there was all kinds of, of debris down here when we purchased the home. So until you get things cleaned out, it's almost you know, impossible to know what you're dealing with. But some of the cool things that I really uh, appreciate in homes of this age, if you take a look at the, the uh, posts that are holding up the house, what are they? They're actual trees. They, they're, they're not poles, they're tr literally trees. It's so cool. Um, and and you're, you know, they're solid, they ain't going in there. Those things have hardened so much over the 80, 100 years or whatever that this house has been sitting here. Uh, they're, they're solid as can be. Um, there's a new furnace here. The water heater looks aged, but not too, too old. Um, looks like they did some a new PVC plumbing when they ran things. So overall, this house is, um, as much as it looks a little rough, uh, it's in fairly good condition for what we're dealing with. And we're excited to get in here and uh, start, it, start it going. All right, so we're just coming out of the house here and we have, as we tour, we're always thinking, what exactly are we going to be doing? And this is pretty fresh. We just got this thing cleaned out. And it takes a little while to marinate on what it is that we feel our best exit strategy and what's the best usage and highest and best usage of this home. And um, really the first one is go ahead and do a full Monty remodel in this thing and have it really look beautiful. Uh, we call it a Gucci remodel bring it to top value, which could really push in this neighborhood in the, in the high, you know, high fours, maybe even the mid fives. Um, and then there's also just, hey, could we clean this up and, and maybe get it ready for some investor or a homeowner who really has some skills or would like to hire their own contractor? Um, or the last one would be just kind of put it together and keep it on the lower price point so somebody else can come along and finish it with their ideas and bring their own value and equity to it. And each one of those has their own unique challenges and opportunities. So we're gonna do our best to figure out which direction we're gonna go. Meanwhile, we're gonna to talk to some investors. We'll see if there's potentially interest out there. Um, and so we try to pursue a little bit of each angle as we're trying to make that decision as well. So we'll keep you in tune as far as what we plan to do. And we look forward to uh, talking with you sometime down the road and showing you what, what, what the plan is going to be.